Okay, so in this installment, we're going to talk about what is referred as the final, the final gain stage. So the input to that amplifier is the signal coming from the sampling integrator that we covered in the previous video. For now, let's forget about this. Uh, let's forget about this connection here and just look and just look at the circuit here. So this is a non-inverting, non-inverting, non-inverting amplifier. A classic setup. Huh? So this is the input coming here. So this DC battery with one volt, it's kind of simulating the output from the the output from the uh, sampling integrator. So I put one volt. I have no idea. It's kind of the actual output of the integrator, it's kind of a DC voltage, it's slightly, it's uh, slowly moving, so it's not exactly a DC voltage, but you can simulate like that. Okay, this part here is basically going to be like a threshold, but I'll talk about this a tiny bit later. Okay, so input here, and this is the non-inverting uh, amplifier. You have the feedback resistor. And this is the resistor that goes to ground. So the in this case the the gain is going to be 10k over 1k plus one, so 11. Okay, so let's run this thing. Here I, I'm having a step dot step. It's not going to matter because it's not connected. So let's run it anyway. Okay, so let's look at the. Okay, so this is the input, one volt. This is the output. Should be 11. So one volt is input and that's your output. So that's your typical amplification. Now, so this is the gain part, but the, problem, the, the issue is the threshold. And I have to explain why you need a threshold when you're metal detecting. When you run your metal detector, you want to play with that threshold so that the, so that the, the output of the sampling integrator is um, basically turned off if below that threshold. When you detect when you detect a metal, you want that audio tone to get louder. So when you are not swinging the coil, you want that audio tone to be as low as possible, and that's the role of that threshold. And and this is the how you set up the threshold using this gizmo here so it's just a uh, so it's just a battery resistor in series and that and you connect that into the minus input of your op amp okay like that and you might ask well how do you get that battery voltage well it's it's simply so we know it has to be adjustable so it's going to be a pot and it's going to be basically a voltage voltage divider between the positive battery and a negative battery. So if you have a battery that's at uh, 10 volts, you're going to have a voltage divider between 10 volt and minus 10. So this assumes that uh, somehow you are able to get a negative uh, battery, negative battery voltage, which is which is not obvious. But let's assume that that's what we have. So you turn your pot when you are ready to detect so that the tone is as low as possible. And then when you swing your coil, if there is a metal detected, then the tone is going to go higher. That's the whole point. To simulate this, what I did is that I, I still have my one volt input here. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to vary the voltage. So for that, I'm using the, the dot step directive through here. So dot step and here the X between those brackets is basically the voltage. So this is the parameter that's going to vary. So when you see something in between brackets in LT spice, it means it's the parameter that can be that can be changed. So here I'm going to change. I'm going to I'm going to do a run where the parameter x is going to change from minus from minus 15 volts to plus 15 volts with an increment of one volt. And here I explain how I did that. Okay, so I'll leave, leave that to you to read if you want.
So let's run this thing and see what happens. And this is basically all those lines you see is the voltage at the output for each parameter. Sometimes it's hard to see which is which. So what you do is that you uh, you left click on the name of the trace here. Left click. It's gonna the cursor is gonna show up. Okay, so basically you can go through each one of them. Like uh, I don't know, like this one. You right click, right click, and it's gonna tell you it's uh, x equal three, so voltage equal three. You can see that this input signal that is one volt is completely shut down for this trace, and this trace correspond to x equal to 12. So if you put 12 volts, if you put 12 volts here, so if you turn the the pot so that you have 12 volts here, then the the output signal is is going to be around zero. I mean, if you look, yeah, it's uh, about twenty microvolts. So, so what I'm trying to say uh, rather badly is that this voltage here act as a threshold, and it can uh, it basically can uh, you can nullify. Uh, the output signal. So it acts as a threshold. I hope it's clear enough. Um, but I think I'm going to stop here for this for this thing. So again, this was the uh, the final gain stage. And the important thing is this part, that threshold control. Okay, Otherwise, it's just a, a no-pump amplifier. I think next time is going to be the, the last video on the subject. It's going to be about uh, the audio stage. Audio stage. So I'll see you around. Bye.